troubleshooting challenge. Addressing table, R1, router, main router, three switches, and end devices. After an update to the networks, some devices were misconfigured. You must correct the configurations. Router R1 and all the switches have been pre-configured with the following. Enable password Cisco MPA55, console password Cisco COMPA55, admin username and password, admin one, admin one pass. Okay, go to ID, verify the IP addressing and review the configuration here. The IPv4 address and the IPv6 address. Okay. Look at here. 172.16.11. Submit mass 26. And the IP is 192.168. Okay. Uh, it's misconfigured. 172.16.11. 26 prefix is 192. Very good. And uh, the full gateway 172 16. 172 16. 162. DNS server. Okay, and this DNS, I guess, I think it's, it's right. And um, pick the default gateway to verify. The default gateway is uh, 62, 172, 16, 162. Success and ping to S1, the switch placed on my local network, okay, 61. Success. And now access the router using uh, SSH. Use admin one and admin one pass. Case okay, sensitive. Okay, SSH to the default gateway. The default gateway is 62. SSH option L, the username is admin, case sensitive, capital A, then the IP address, enter. Okay, closed by, by the host. Okay, and so I, I cannot access with SSH. Okay, access R1 using the console connection. I will use a console. If I, if I can't uh, access with SSH, I will access with the console. Go to IT with use the terminal. Okay. I'm very good. Cisco. Okay, sorry. Use this password for console password, Cisco Compa 55. Capital C. Cisco Compa 55. Very good. Enable. Use this password. Cisco Mpa 55. Capital C. Cisco Mpa 55. Cisco Mpa 55. Very good. And verify. Show running config. 
uh, compare with the addressing table gigabit 00, zero gigabit 00, zero, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses very good uh, gigabit 01, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses okay uh, is misconfigured because it should be 172.16.126 and is 192.168.126 okay modify this interface configure terminal interface gigabit 01 IP address 172.16.1.126 And the subnet mask for 26 is 192. Remember that. 255, 255, 255, 192. Enter. Okay, and uh, review again. Show running config. Gigabit 00, okay. Gigabit 01, very good. And serial 001. Serial zero zero one. Very good, not problem. Gigabit zero two. Okay, right and router are one, and all the switches have been pre-configured with the following. Enable password, console password, and admin username and password for SSH. R1 and all the switches. This is R1. Verify the line BTY 0 to 4. Login local transport input telnet and should be SSH. Modify that. Configure terminal line BTY 0 to 4. Transport input SSH. And where is the username and password for SSH? No username and password. Okay, so exit from line and configure this username and secret password. Username admin uh, case sensitive admin one secret password admin one pa five five enter very good now you have the okay exit show running config Okay, there is a IP domain, ccna-lab.com, uh, username, admin1, and login local transfer input SSH on line BTY04. Very good. But I want to know if there is a crypto key. You can use, for example, show crypto... Uh, Question, um, question mark to view the options. Show crypto key. Show crypto key, enter. Incomplete. Uh, question mark. My public key. Okay. Uh, my pub key. Question mark. RSA. Space. Question mark. Enter. Okay. Um, Show crypto key, my public key, RSA. You have the already created. Okay, so it's not necessary to create the crypto key for SSH. And 
should be possible to access using SSH uh, from command prompt from IT from IDPC to the router with using SSH. Repeat the previous command SSH option L admin one and the IP address of the interface router enter password admin one pa five five capital A. Okay. Again admin one pa five five enter. Very good. Success. Exit. Now and review more devices. For example, marketing the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. This is marketing. Okay, not problem with marketing. Ping to S2. As to the switch, place it on my local network, access the console, the common prompt, and ping Okay, so I can't ping this switch S2. I cannot ping switch S2. Request timeout. Uh, it's not possible access using SSH to modify the switch S2. Because if, if, if the ping fails, the SSH access will fail too. Uh, Use console, marketing, RS232, console, marketing, close, common prompt, open terminal, okay. Enter, S uh, password, Cisco compa 55 enable, Cisco MPA55, and show running config. Host name, enable secret password. Okay, interface VLAN 1, 172, 16, 1, 125. Okay, very good. But the subnet mass is 26, and the subnet mass. For 26 should be 192 and is 224. So modify this subnet mask. Configure your terminal interface VLAN 1 IP address 172 16 1 125 and subnet mask uh, 192 subnet mask. Exit. And, and close terminal and from common prompt ping ping again to S2 from marketing ping to S2 success okay Ping the default gateway. My default gateway for marketing is 126. 126. Success. And review R and D. This is the the table. 129 IPv4. Very good. 25 is 128 in decimal, very good, 254, the IPv6, uh, okay, 
should be this C A F E two column column two. Okay, modify this C A F E column column two. Modify to C A F E column two column column two. 64 link logger gateway very good ping s3 253 common prompt ping uh, 172 16 1 253 the the switch it on my local network s3 Success and also ping the default gateway 254. Very good. And finally, ping the web server. Finally, ping the web server 641003. Ping 641003. The web server on, on internet. Success. Verify this from all PCs marketing on common prompt. ID to web server. Very good. Um, it's working very well. And for example, from marketing access to terminal, uh, the terminal, the console port on S2, you can see on S2, S2 does not have the username and secret password, uh, does not have the transport input SSH on BTY lines, no login local, uh, and uh, show crypto key question mark uh, my pub key RSA enter. And crypto key is not configured. And SSH should be configured in, on all switches. Okay, router R1 and all the switches have been configured with the following adding username and password for SSH. Okay, uh, all switches should be configured with SSH, but you can configure that on each switch, but I guess switches are not configured with SSH. Um, but I got 100%. To configure a switch with SSH, you need to configure the hostname, IP domain, uh, you need a username and, and secret password, you need to configure um, BTY, BTY lines, transport input SSH, login local, and also um, create the, the generate the crypto key and, and you will be able to access uh, SSH from end devices to the switches. Okay, thank you very much.